In this video we'll briefly discuss what is glipizide and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, and contraindications and precautions. Glipizide is a sulfonylurea anti-diabetic agent. It decreases blood glucose by stimulating insulin release from pancreas and by increasing tissue sensitivity to insulin. So glipizide is used to lower blood glucose in patients with non-insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus. It is available as 5 mg and 10 mg tablets, and also available as 2.5 mg, 5 mg and 10 mg extended-release tablets. And the usual initial dose of glipizide for adults is 5 mg per day, 30 minutes before breakfast. Then the dose should be adjusted in 2.5 to 5 mg per day increments, based on blood glucose response. The maintenance dose is 15 to 40 mg per day. And the usual dose of the extended release tablets is 5 to 10 mg per day, given once daily. And the usual initial dose for elderly is 2.5 mg per day. Glipicide may cause diarrhea and abdominal pain, dyspepsia and nausea, hypoglycemia, aplastic anemia, thrombocytopenia, hypersensitivity reaction, and cholestatic jaundice. Glipicide is contraindicated in case of hypersensitivity to sulfonylureas and in diabetes complicated by ketoacidosis. Glipicide dose is best administered before breakfast, or if taken twice a day, it can be taken before the evening meal. Do not change the dose or stop taking glipizide unless advised by your healthcare provider. Also do not take any prescription or OTC medications or dietary supplements unless advised by your healthcare provider. And avoid intake of alcoholic beverages while taking this medication. And finally, notify your healthcare provider if symptoms of hypoglycemia occur, such as fatigue, excessive hunger, profuse sweating, or numbness of extremities. And also notify your healthcare provider if symptoms of hyperglycemia occur, such as excessive thirst or urination, or urinary glucose or ketones. That's all for this video, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.